new year, new me. Let's do this. Happy New Year's guys, this is EA Sports from the Plan Mobile Report. I hope you had a very good 2020 and going to a new start of 2021. And I hope to make this year a great year for my YouTube channel. So one of my Gunpla New Year's resolution is to paint more kits before throughout this end. And just last year I've been kind of like trying to get in back into painting and I finished one kit. Just one. And I like to look through like all the options of what other paints I use because I'm ready to dive into the whole painting game again. So I came across this kit and I had a nostalgic feeling about using lacquer paints. Then I came across this paint brand that I heard about it but I've never used before. And recently they've got a US distributor. The US distributor goes under Robot Kai and they're fairly new but they are the official US distributor of this paint brand called Model Paints. And I've heard of Model Paints quite, uh, for some time, and they are a Taiwanese company who produce uh, model colors for quite a long time. And they have a lot of different type of interesting paints that I saw. One of them, of course, is gonna be just major lacquer paints they have. And also they got these things called Spray Consistence, which is all pretty thin, and I, hearing good things about them recently. So I kind of reached out to Robot Kai to see, hey, uh, is it okay if I try some of their samples? And surely enough, they did. They did send me their samples of their basic paint lines, which is good for me because it's a great way to kind of take a look and just check them out. So thank you Robot Kai for sending me this. Now, I have not been paid to make this video. I wanted to share my experience about me getting back into lacquer, as well as taking a look at kind of the characteristic of lacquer that's different from acrylic. So if you want to check these guys out, uh, the links in the description below of Robot Kai's website, you could find almost everything that they have here and they just launched this so it's fresh out the boat so you know i'm pretty excited to go over this right now because it's been a while since i never touched a lacquer paint let's go over what kind of colors i got the first thing we're going to look at is going to be their basic white paints now there are two different types of white paints that they sent me here one is the m001 pure white and the other one is a pro mix royal white and the color difference Although in the camera you may not, it may doesn't look like there's any difference, but through the human eye you will notice that the Pro Mix has more of a pearl finish to it. And if you look through the back of the Pro Mix paint, you can see there's going to be a characteristic chart here. And if you look closely, uh, it says all the gloss and then the pearl finish characteristics are has been highlighted here. So this is very interesting and it's very easy to understand what kind of paint this is. The second one is the M002 Pure Black. And this is the shiniest black that I've ever used before. It's so glossy that you could probably see yourself. The next one we're gonna look at is probably my favorite of out of these. Uh, it's the M003 Pure Red. And it's the reddest paint that I've ever seen. The next two colors is gonna be a M004 Royal Blue and the Pro Mix Cobalt Blue. And I really like this blue because it's not too dark, yet it's not too light. So it creates a possibility of making it a two-tone if we use these two together. Now the Pro Mix one, uh, I'd say it has a very sophisticated blue. And if you compare it to the Pro Mix uh, Royal White, you can see the characteristics quite different here. Uh, the cobalt blue has more of, more like a chrome characteristics rather than the pearl. So there are several different ways of looking and using the Pro Mix paints, which is very interesting. Final paint that we look at is going to be the M005 Pure Yellow. Now, this is a very good balanced yellow as it's not too bright yet it's not too dark. So I think this is a really good color to mix it with other colors such as an orange. And then the last paint that we got here is the MK43 Super Flat Clear, which it's just a top coat, but I love matte top coat, so I'm very glad that they sent this to me. Now let's go and thin these paints. So the recommended thinning ratio that I've received was one part paint to three part thinner. Now for most of you that may sound a little bit too much, which I kind of agree. My uh, usual mixing ratio is about like one to 1.5. And as shown in this video, it 
really kind of works. So you can do it one to 1.5. And if you really want, you can go all the way up to three. Now the best part about this paint is it is compatible with any Japanese manufactured thinners. So for right here, I'm using Mr. Color's leveling thinner, which I say it's one of the best uh, lacquer thinner out there for any color paints. And it just works like wonder. You could also use other lacquer thinners like Tamiya's lacquer thinner or even Mr. Color's regular thinner as well. Uh, Model Paint does have their own thinner, so you could use those as well. Uh, for this, uh, I don't did not have any of the Model Paint thinner, so I'm just using what I have. And the last thing that I did was I actually had to cut the label out to put it into the thinned bottle. Now, the safest and the easiest way to do this is to use a hairdryer, but since I was filming this like really late at night and I didn't want to wake up or disturb anybody, uh, I just used a regular hobby knife and I just carefully took it apart and it worked out very well. So uh, you could do this if you want to label your thin paint bottle and the paint is now ready to go. I did this for all the paints that I got, and let's see how they spray. So my initial impression of these is that, oh my god, these spray really good, even with the 1.5 thinning ratio. And the, the very big difference between painting with lacquer and painting with acrylic is that when, when you paint with acrylics, you have to mind doing it layer by layer. And that's because acrylic is, a, is weaker than lacquer. Therefore, and mostly it's water-based too. So you have to be careful when you're applying something like a very watery paint. So you gotta do it slowly, layer by layer, and as you dry. But for lacquer, you could apply this as quickly as possible and they dry quicker too. So for me, this is a plus. All right, we got all of these all painted and dried up. Let's take a look at it one by one. Now keep in mind, each of all of these paints are in a gloss finish. So. The gloss quality here is very good. It's really more close to like a mirror chrome. The pure white is a very subtle white that you could mix it with any other colors to make it lighter. The pure black is one of the glossiest black that I've ever seen in my life. I could even see myself in the reflection over there. This is really good for a chrome painting or any color shift painting. The pure red is one of my new favorite color of this series and it's a very strong red, but not too strong. The royal blue is a lighter blue, which is really good because normal blues are generally dark. The pure yellow is kind of like in the middle where it's not too bright and it's not too dark. And this is really good if you want to mix this with other colors. The Pro Mix Royal White has a very pearly finish and it's really reminiscent to the Wing Zero's pearl finish uh, color. And finally, the Pro Mix Cobalt Blue is a very sophisticated blue that's a little deeper than the regular blue. And this is more reminiscent to the Freedom Gundam's blue. So those are the paint results that I had with all of these colors. Overall, very, very nice. Now let's move on to kind of like my personal thought and final verdict. So if you guys haven't noticed already, I really love this paint. Uh, it's kind of became my new favorite paints that I've had in a while. I feel like these are very easy to use. As for me, I haven't been using lacquers for since I switched over to acrylic. So that's, that's a long time that I had to kind of go back and go back and do the paint mixing. But, but if you have already dealt with lacquer paints, uh, it is, all the same like you do use the same dilation you do the same thinning you use the same method and again the thinning ratio is really up to you for having just only the basic color and two of the other like kind of a premium color i personally like it i had a joy just painting these painting these lacquer paints not because i haven't used lacquer in a while but these paints felt really good so if you're starting out want to use like a lacquer paint that's readily available or if you're like me who wants to get back into lacquer painting, I think this is the great place to start. These paints are fairly, fairly cheap and they're, they ship right here in the US too. So you guys check Robokai out if you want to get more of these paints. And I'm definitely getting a more paints because I want to try all their other 
different kind of brands. I'm interested in the pre-thin one as well because that might make things a little easier for me instead of like having to go and mix the paints all together. So with that being said, this has been EA Spuds from the Plamo Boot Report. I hope you guys have a new, great start of a new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.